have to address what happened with the challenge. It appeared that the winner actually stole his work and it's not his amazing artwork, which is a bummer because I had to ask some reputable people to participate and help me judge this competition. Clinton Jones, uh, Nvidia people are involved and things like that. It just, it's just bad manners that makes me look bad because I was happy for the winner. You know, he told me like, I used all the laptops of my friends to render this out. And I said like, amazing mate, go tell your friends how amazing you are. And then all these messages started to pop up saying that, hey, the work is stolen. So I sent him a message asking to provide me with uh, clay renders, viewport screenshots. And of course the dude haven't come back to me. And then people also provided me with the link to the original work which was published on Behance by the guy from China. Obviously the price can't go to him because he wasn't participating in the challenge and I'm sure people will make him aware of the situation. On his Behance page he have all the breakdowns of how he did it, why he did it and all these things. Doesn't matter what happened, happened. Uh, considering all the comments me and Clint gave about other top submissions, uh, I think it's a logical thing to say that Gerrit Osterhoff from Germany is a real winner. Congrats mate. This time I hope for real. Also this video got really heavily copyrighted. It's unprecedented challenge in so many ways comparing to all other challenges I ran. Jar with Fireflies went smooth. Spring CG challenge went smooth. This one got banned so many times and it's hour and a half long video so I had to re-render re it then re-upload it took enormous amount of my time I haven't slept tonight so yeah uh, this video may not look as decorated as my usual videos but I decided I'll better quickly address the issue with the winner for future competitions I think it makes sense to have that rule like in Jar with Fireflies of people providing screenshots of the viewport of the render process telling me what software they use and all these things probably will just exclude the possibility of a scam if you would think about it it's a good thing that i'm sending the price after the video is published because i could as well notify the winner in advance and send it out and then post the video which would be ridiculous it's such a shame i just don't understand what people are thinking about i have almost 200,000 subscribers did the person think no one fr from these people will notice this little fact it's just a shame it makes me look bad it makes the whole situation bad and I don't I, I don't like I don't like when something I initiate turns into negative in any form have no respect for stealing and I mean the guys who participated in the challenge and used references or even copied shot to shot whatever they did the big work to make it happen it's not stealing it's it's what I call creative stealing but again in the context of all the submissions together, Gerrit Osterhoff is the best. Little fun fact, my wife and daughter, who are obviously far away from 3D, they picked Gerrit straight away. They liked the mask, the car, the mood of the tunnel. So, yeah. <laughs> this is probably all I have to say. No vlogs, nothing. To be honest, I haven't planned to touch this camera at all until October. Well, considering it's a vlog style video, I could as well uh, give you a couple of updates. I don't remember if I mentioned, but my wife is pregnant and we're expecting our second daughter to appear like any moment now. So all my attention is around that at the moment. When I was learning to ride one wheel, I fell of it really badly and my camera was in my hands. So it like smashed on the ground. Good thing the camera was in a cage, so it wasn't really damaged, but I noticed that the autofocus is now completely off. And I made a pre-order for Sony A7S III, so eagerly waiting for this one to arrive. And then I will probably be back to vlogs. By the way, I've noticed a couple of comments, uh, people saying, things like oh it's surprising Clint, Clint didn't recognize the movie Clint recognized everything he had like half an hour comprehensive review of those top, top three submissions and seriously man 
I appreciate you. I appreciate your help because sometimes with these challenges, it's extremely hard to pick a winner. You were a massive help there. Thank you. I think we will have more collaborations with Clint in future. While I'm recording this, there are probably another hundred messages about the winner. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I wish you a happy Tuesday. It's probably, it probably will be the vlog, the only one in a lifetime published in the same day when I recorded it. Have a nice day, guys. Peace. Don't steal other people's work. It's not worth it. Reputation, same as knowledge, is the most valuable thing you'll ever have. This mark of a thief may stick to you, you know? And karma is a bitch. Oh yeah, I mastered one wheel. I'm like a proper YouTuber now. Didn't you know? You can't be a YouTuber until you ride a one wheel. <laughs>